hello guys welcome back to my channel we are back again to talk about love is blind today today we're gonna talk about love is blind episode six yeah the last time we were talking about love is blind we were talking about uh taylor and jp relationship that pretty much not going anywhere like they still haven't overcome the awkwardness between them they still struggle a lot so let's talk about episode so six Nathan and lydia they are talking about mashing like <laughs> they are they are always joking and uh, lydia want me to wear something black oh gosh i'm wearing something black she's wearing like a bathing suit a black bathing suit she want me to wear like a black Sure, we don't say no, I want to wear gray. She said, Why don't you wear black? He said, No, I want to wear gray because I plan to wear pink. He said, Like, pink and gray match went together. But <laughs> they just said, Oh, no, no, pink and black also, black, pink, <laughs> pink and black also match well together. And he said, No, how old are you? <laughs> you don't know any fashion. They always joking around. For other people, we'll be like, That's too much. But for them, they, they go away. Well. A long well i don't know they never show the scene of them wearing the cross i don't know if he finally wear um black or did he wear like gray we talk about Taylor and jp the last time what happened to them they had like a date outside to like see they have like they go on the day on the bugging trip uh, okay how do we call that um to say do <laughs> I can't pronounce for I don't know how to call that. It has some she that will have such a silly name. Something like that. Like you hold it in a mountain. I don't know the name. So they plan to have like a good day outside. Tell us to talk more to JP, but they're doing like some kind of activity like a first day to try for to build the connection between them. So now JP try to initiate the connection. I hope we continue our relationship. I hope things will go well and stuff like that. And then they got to stay in an easy like we have. They have the day they playing golf. They just like talking about sex. Apparently, like Stacy <laughs> talking about how she wasn't like very happy about the sex life, and she wanted easy to take more initiative. Like I'm loving you, you're loving me, me. Let's take more initiative. I want you to grab me. I want you to kiss me and <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> Just, just make me think about last season. How do we call it again? I forget all the names. I forget. We are not happy. So she want him to take more initiative. Don't be afraid. Uh, let's talk about Mayton and Lydia. They are just having dinner. Like this is the honeymoon. They show what the couple are doing together. That just like episode five, not something big didn't happen here yet. We're staying easy. Yeah. Getting ready for bed, me and Lydia have the dinner. Taylor and JP is we get more content for Taylor and JP now. They're getting ready for bed, but they have like a conversation. Taylor says she's fed, she doesn't feel the emotional connection with JP anymore. It's not like it was in the board. Things have changed, things are different. JP say half. JP said, you are having COVID. Taylor said, it's not the case. They're having an argument and stuff like that. And Taylor said, this is the first time you ever talk to me. This is the first time I hear you actually talking to me. And finally, JP said something that he never said before, you know. I didn't know that it was even an issue. I didn't know this was even an issue. So he told Taylor that it would be easy for Taylor if she didn't wear makeup. So he felt like her wearing too much makeup is kind of fake he liked the way she looked naturally like for okay he said 99 percent of women would be we love to hear that i'm here to disagree with you jp you shouldn't tell a lady how she should portray herself how she look like and tell her that the makeup is fake they don't say i'm just wearing the makeup i'm just like why you look good it doesn't mean that she's fake or something like that like you can wear the makeup, she it doesn't mean like if you are natural, if you choose to be natural, or if you wear makeup, or if you wear weak, it doesn't mean that you're fake. 
for him to say, oh, I like you not turn. Because most of the guys usually, they will say, oh, you were pretty with makeup. I don't like girls who don't wear makeup and stuff like that. Because he said the opposite, you think that it's okay. My problem with Jeff is that you shouldn't tell a woman how she should present herself. That's, that lead to try to take control. Like you're trying to control her to tell her what she should do. You say that your relationship will be easy with her if she were not wearing makeup. Why the whole time you didn't even talk to express that yourself? And now you say, oh, when I meet you, you look a certain way now, I see your face without makeup. What's going on with you, JP? I was very disappointed in JP here, the way he handled the conversation with her. That's the most we saw JP talk the whole season beside the poor. Okay. That, even the way he was reacting to the way she was talking, like, JP, this is not good. But I'm glad of the fact that they didn't end up in, like, in a very bad note. So Taylor decided to go to sleep to another room, but they still agreed to, like, talk the next day. They hugged it, and she left the room. Yeah. Men try to control women. They tell her what she do, wear makeup or not. Who are you to do that? The honeymoon is over. Taylor and JP, whole honeymoon was so bad alcohol moment it was nothing like they were in the pot now the honeymoon is over the pop are getting ready to go back taylor and jp need to talk jp look a little bit more happy to talk to taylor he's a little bit more smiley and stuff like that he talk 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 how you feeling and they ask taylor how you feeling taylor say this is different this is not like in the pot taylor say you're not the person i fall in love with the whole Situation is different. Taylor says she doesn't feel like she wants to be engaged. She want to do this anymore. So she says she's done. I could have put my money on these two people working, doing well. And I, I feel like it might be one because JP doesn't talk much. Like it's kind of hard for Taylor and Spurrier. Second, because JP is not the most attractive guy. She probably wasn't physically attracted to him. And the fact that he doesn't talk also. Like, I don't know, like the personality is not there. The attraction is not there. So it didn't work out. Uh, JP, for someone who just got dumb, he looked pretty okay. And I kind of feel like, was he smiley? What's going on with you, JP? She returned there and he said, okay. They hug and they, that's how the relationship with JP and Taylor ended. Yeah. Can you imagine? This love is blind. It's only two couples. Two couples. We still have three weeks into the wedding. Two couples. Usually we have five couples. This season, I don't know what's going to happen, guys. The couple that we thought we're going to be engaged and married. It's over after three days of the honeymoon, four days of the honeymoon. And now it's time for the two last couple. It's time for them to go back to Houston, Texas, and where they're going to have two brand new apartments. Just like the lashes say, they're getting two brand new apartments. Very nice apartment, very big, even bigger than the last one. What am I saying? Like last season, they got the freaking townhouse in Seattle. Kwame and Chelsea and all the other couple, they got like townhouses. But those apartments are very big, very nice. So 21 day into the wedding, Stacy and Easy, they are talking about the wedding, the flower and stuff like that. So the conversation about wedding start to come. We have Lydia and Mitten, they are looking. They are like, they're liking the new apartment. They are talking about the schedule, how Mitten work a lot. Mitten is telling us that. His schedule changed a lot since he's like an engineer. He's like the youngest among all the other engineers. They might call him like, in being an engineer in general, you can work like a very like back schedule. Your schedule can change. They might call him to go somewhere to fix something. So his schedule and Lydia's schedule will be kind of hard to match, but they're gonna find time for each other. We don't say he can work like four days straight and be Religia the next day is the next day. They're gonna find a way to work their schedule together. They seem very happy with each other. And we have Stacy and Easy. It's only two couples. It would be easy to follow just two couples. I'm like, I'm complaining it's not five couples, but it's easy for me to just follow two couples for now. Oh, or more. I don't know what's gonna happen yet. Stacy and Easy. Um 
stasis is happy that her family is all in so her family seems to be above easy he's talking about his mom that his mom is not she's not too much into this person that his mom is just scared and we have 20 days each of the wait we see Lydia and Milton and they want to see me to apartment you know Joanne love is well posted you see your partner apartment you decide you get her, you get to know how they live and uh, so they want to meet apartment his apartment is pretty clean guys apartment in this season are pretty clean Kwame, <laughs> not the case for you. Like, guys' apartment in this season, it might be empty. Me to apartment would might be empty, but it's pretty clean. Me to have a roommate whose roommate is a data analyst. He only have good things to say about me. So he's talking to Lydia, how great of the guy me to is. Lydia, like that. We have Stacy and Easy there. Stacy took easy to her house she owned like a house and she's doing a lot of renovation right now um they have a big conversation about finance like how it's important like how finance is important They're talking about like if they get married it's going to be something like a 50 50 situation it's not just going to be stacy house it's going to be also easy house so it's going to have like to also contribute to the house and the construction and stuff like that because they will be signing that lease i don't know what's gonna happen they will be it, it will be the house that they build you know house these days like mortgage it will become the house and they have to pay for the house together we're gonna meet stacy family later but it's like that i have a big house who knows maybe she paid she paid for the whole house i don't know i'm just saying so and they're talking about dinner easy says it's gonna be 50 50 stacy no do you think like I have to pay. I think the man should take care of the dinner. Yeah, yeah. talking about finance. Um, Stacy should make more money than Easy. So it's a little bit difficult for Easy. No, Easy just have a new job and they're still discussing about the finance. It's easy thing, it should be 50 50. Stacy thing, it should be the man taking care of that. And Stacy talking about a story with her like that. I mean, like her dad has been very work. Uh, a hard worker like people who usually work hard other people are taking advantage of them then we eventually find out an, 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 an agreement if they end up together each in the each in the wedding and we saw alia girl looking gorgeous a natural hair she's like wow alia she was gorgeous the earring the necklace the hair she's like she's looking gorgeous she, We've been meeting Uche. I don't know if Alia asked to meet Uche or Uche asked me Alia. This is where episode 6 ended. Like with them meeting her, Alia saying her piece, how she still want to be with Uche. She want the whole thing, marriage and stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. I'll let you with this. Is it going to be like last year where they meet and it go into something and they stay? in this marriage together or is it going to be a complete opposite story you only remember the name of the villa like Mike and alina <laughs> i was going to remember the name zach 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 how do we call the other guys like zach and please yeah thank god thank god i remember is it going to be like a zach and please station when they meet up and it lead to something beautiful it lead to marriage or is it gonna be just like nothing okay i'm pretty sure if you watch this you already know the answer or if you didn't watch you will find that next episode thank you so much for watching episodes of her cap of love is blood see you next see you tomorrow for episode seven thank you so much bye or oh, next minute for me